How to do everybody? Welcome to Variety Conversation. I am Lady Walker. All righty then. This story is interesting enough for me to take the time to expatiate on it. So here goes. He's an American living in Germany. His name is Mark Bryan. He is 61 years old, happily married with three children, one son and two daughters. And he's a family man who's been, wait for it. There you go. Wearing a skirt with a man's button up shirt and high heels to work and in public for four years. Mark has been married three times, but with his current wife for 11 years and says his partner and children support him in his choices. How about that? He says he wants to prove clothes have no gender. That's it, y'all. He wants to prove that clothes have no gender. Oh boy, is a robotic engineering manager. I didn't know what the Jack B. Nimble, Jack B. Quick robotic engineer was, so I gleaned from Career Explorer that a robotic engineer is a behind-the-scenes designer who is responsible for creating robots and robotic systems that are able to perform duties that humans are either unable or prefer not to complete. How about that for a smidget of an educational moment? Okay, anyway, Mark's favorite items are five-inch stilettos and pencil skirts, which he mostly purchases online. He says people question his sexuality since he started openly wearing skirts. Wouldn't you think, Mark? Wouldn't you think? Which he says can make him short-tempered. He says most of the time, I'll tell them it's none of their business, and other times, I'll just say I'm straight. But there are times I'll go off on some, mostly men when asked. I'll respond with something like, why would me wearing a skirt make you think of my sexual preferences? Or would you ask that same question if I was wearing pants? Or do you ask a woman wearing a skirt and heels her sexual preferences? Mark says he's a happily married straight man. Well, Mark. If a woman is wearing a skirt and some heels, most men would just assume she's a woman and wouldn't ask her about her sexual preferences. And if you were wearing male pants, which some are gender specific, a man probably wouldn't ask you your sexual preferences. Just saying. Mark standing at six feet tall says he first started wearing heels when he was in college when his then girlfriend asked him to before he danced with her. How about that? She would ask him to wear heels when she danced with him. Hmm. Anywho, he began wearing skirts later in life and created an IG account to share his daily looks. Now listen, Mark got quite a few people who's rooting him on, okay? A lot of people don't see anything wrong with Mark, a bald-headed white guy, (laughs) okay, wearing a skirt and some stilettos, okay? He says that he wears the clothes he does because I can, and claimed he has always, always admired women who wear tight skirts and heels and the power they present. Yeah, okay, okay. Listen, I say for a straight guy wearing a tight pencil skirt and heels, it's a brave thing to do because people will roast you like a turkey. Yes, they will roast you like a turkey. But I guess when you are confident in who you are, their roasting won't break you. As human beings, y'all, we are naturally curious on a multitude of things. You can't get all worked up with anger when people look at you sideways because you are dressed in a woman's attire. They see something out of their norm and something different that caused them to stare in bewilderment. I don't know if more wearing a tight pencil skirt with a man's button-up shirt and heels is a fetish of some kind or if he is an exhibitionist. It's a given he could care less about what people think of him wearing the opposite gender attire. After all, his wife approves of it. Personally, I could care less on how he chooses to dress, but he cannot expect everybody to adopt his belief that clothes have no gender. That isn't going to fly in the eyes of the masses. I am not persuaded nor so on the idea that clothes are genderless. 
From my perspective, a tight pencil skirt and stilettos has a female gender identity. You can tell yourself otherwise that it is not gender specific, especially if you like wearing the opposite gender clothes. But that doesn't change the fact that such attire is made for a female. Someone said the only skirt a man looks good in is a kilt. Other than that, ugh. <laughs> the kilts were worn by Irish pipe bands and are based on traditional Scottish garment. New Yorker says, I'm a Libra and I disagree. If you want to prove a point, you do it for two days, maybe a week, and then you go back to dressing like other straight, happily married fathers. To continue for four years, mm, there is something else going on that he is in denial about. His choice, but maybe he needs to come to terms with whatever he is repressing. Nearly 60 says, no power in a pencil skirt and stilettos. You are too busy trying to walk without falling over that you can't think of anything else. <laughs> I've been there with the stilettos, okay? I've been there. I tell you what, after you get a certain age and start gaining some weight, I tell you walking in heels is a different thing. But I guess that depends on the person because there are some older people as well as people who are heavy that they can really do it and it seems to be effortlessly, okay? But I'm sure Mark has mastered that skill probably better than some women because if he is wearing this throughout the whole day while he is at work, and he goes around other places wearing it. Oh boy, has mastered that skill. Lee Barnes says, clothes do have gender. Let's not be blind woke. I think he looks ridiculous, but if he wants that, then it's up to him. Pathfinder says, human will keep pushing the envelope. It will not be far now when straight happily married men. <laughs> we'll be wearing bras and bikinis too. I got to tell you, Pathfinder, you just may be right. Anything, anything is possible. <laughs> hey, Ripon says, I'm not saying he should be made fun of, but this crap shouldn't be embraced. I tell you, like it is, it surely shouldn't be embraced. Riceby says, seems like a pointless point to prove. It does, right? But at least it's out there in the news and people are talking about it. England, us land, says he has a right to wear what he wants when he wants. I have the right to think he is weird. Okay, dope. Okay, y'all, one more last thing I am going to say about Mark is that Mark has style. He knows how to pair up an outfit and y'all got to tell you, his legs do look nice in those heels, okay? Oh, yes, look at those calves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enough said. If you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. And also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Oh, also, feel free to share your perspective on said topic. And in the meantime, be lovers. Y'all come back to visit me when you can. Okie doke. Ta-ta. Oh,